my Lucy. <laughs> it's been like two minutes. All right, and I've got all the tomatoes for the next taste test lined up. My name's Jen, this is my husband, Ben, and I think it's 10, I think it's 10 tomatoes, 10 new tomatoes, some very interesting ones, again. Nine tomatoes, one pumpkin. <laughs> That's gigantic. I've had some really big ones. I think I weighed this one. I'm, I'm probably have an Instagram picture. I can um, try to put it up right now. Gardening in Zone 7, Northeastern West Virginia. Today's, what, August 18th or something like that? Yeah, yeah. sounds so, good. And I'm trying to get through a ton of tomatoes in less than a week. Like, Because <laughs> they all ripened at once. I knew they would. I planted them all at once, so a lot of them are going to ripen all at once. But I think I'm doing pretty good. I think I've tasted probably like 60 tomatoes so far. It's a lot of tomatoes. Okay, so he's dying to do the big pumpkin one. This one is Claude Brown's Yellow Giant. <laughs> And it's massive, it's huge. And like all of the tomatoes on this plant were huge. I think there was an even bigger one. I think I did, yeah, I did a short, didn't I? Of me cutting. I don't yeah, I did. I don't subscribe to you. <laughs> I did a short Just of me cutting joking. another one of these and it was even bigger. So this subscribe. is the biggest one. And the plant's sturdy because it held this up. It held the other one up too. So this is Claude Brown's Yellow Giant. Plant your finger on that like and it's button. Not, it's not yellow. What, what, what you would say, this is like orange. My Instagram is genjoy383. All right, let's cut into this one. I, I don't even have a big enough knife. I'm gonna have to turn it and- Genjoy383? Yep, at genjoy383. Let's watch this. Ooh, oh, very meaty. Oh, wow. So that this is- we just tasted Big Yellow Simpson, and it was similar in color to this one, but this one's a little bit lighter, not as bright orange all the way through as Big Yellow Simpson. So Claude Brown's Yellow Giant. Oh my gosh, this is like bigger than a piece of bread. Baby should go get, do we have any bread? I would like to see what a slice of this looks uh, like. I don't think we have bread. Oh, I need to go to grocery It's really store. hard because bread is also different sizes. Right, this is big. This is bigger than a slice of bread. It's big. It's gigantic. Yeah. All right, so there, I cut two big giant pieces off. Let's put it next <laughs> to an iPhone. I need another paper, I need another plate. Hold on one second. I'm a man, so I always keep a tape measure in my pocket because that's what men do. <laughs> so that's five and a half inches. Wow. In, in, it was a diameter, is that how you say it? In the diameter and the length or what? I don't know. All right, here, let's just taste it. Yep. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Oh, that's slippery. I don't have a plate. Mmm. 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 That's good. It's got a little bit more goo than Big Yellow Simpson. Um, it's not as firm, like the meat part of it isn't as firm, mm -mm. but it's got good flavor. So, mm. It's like an overripe cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good though, I like it. Yeah. Not a fan of overripe cantaloupe. Um, the flavor of this is good, it's fruity. And it's got, Very fruity, yeah. got a good bit of acidity it's to it. Deep. Oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's not mild at all. It's got good flavor. Mm -hmm. um, if you had to choose between Big Yellow Simpson and Claude Brown's Yellow Giant, which one would you pick? I think in flavor, uh, go ahead. Big Yellow Simpson. Okay. Also, because I like the texture of it too. Flavor well, and texture. This one's got good flavor, but the texture is not my favorite. I'm not a fan of big tomatoes because I like to just cut one, use it for what I want to use it for and be done with and it. And then you have to store it and sometimes right. they get weird and funky. Yeah. I like big tomatoes just because they're cool. Like when they're on the vine ripening, you get this big green tomato. I mean, that's a cool <laughs> tomato. Gigantic. And I thought it wasn't going to be good because it's so big. Oh my lord. Because like when squash and stuff get real big. Yeah. But I guess it's supposed to be big, right? Let's set that off to the side. That's taking up a lot of space. I don't, I don't space. know anything about vegetables. Vegetables? Yeah. Okay. Alright, let me clean up my cutting board here. We don't want to taint any of the other tomatoes. Um, let's do this one. This is the a second biggest slicer that I've got in the lineup today. This is Pink oh, Elephant. Yeah. 
I love the name. I got the seeds because of the name. Pink Elephant. Good idea. A really good looking tomato. I've gotten, a, uh, I think I've gotten three and they're all pretty much this size. Really nice, no like um, funky cat faced ones yet. So how long are we gonna get tomatoes? Ooh, like how long are we gonna do tomatoes grow on the thing? Little, The vine, if you can keep your tomato plant healthy. Tomato plants will continue um, to put on fruit and ripen until the first frost. Oh. So it depends on where you live. So you have to long. keep them healthy. You gotta keep them healthy. Like some of my plants are like done for. Okay. Like, <laughs> But like uh, the ones in Maynardville, they're all still doing really, really well. You think they'd be healthy with all the lycopene? The, and <laughs> what? The lycopene. Oh, oh, I got it. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> 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 okay. All right, let's taste this one, dear. Let me smell it. Hmm. Smells like a good tomato. Yeah, this one didn't have too much fruit on it, so. Mm -hmm. Got that in my nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, it's tough. Mm -hmm. Put a bite through it. Tastes like a tomato, but not like classic tomato. You know, a whole lot of acidity to it. Not a lot of acidity. Because sometimes, it, I guess you just, you know. Mm. That's a good tomato, though. I like that. Mm-hmm. That consistency is really good. Oh, that's pretty good. Good amount of gel to seeds. I like the firmness of it. It's a good, firm tomato. And this is one of the ones that has been sitting here for six, seven days. And doesn't have any blemishes or weird marks that it's starting to like go bad. So maybe it's a good storing tomato too. Yeah. Longevity if you're somebody that doesn't eat tomatoes very quickly. Pink elephant might be one that uh, you want to grow. Because nice. you don't have to eat your tomatoes or use them up as quick. Let's see. What's the next one? You want to pick one? You want to do this one? Is this a tomato or a bunch of tomatoes stuck together? Depends on how you want to look at it. <laughs> okay, so this one is the weirdest one I'm growing this year. This is called Phil's 2. There's Phil's 1, which I think is yellow. But this is Phil's 2, and it's green. There's also another one. Oh, gosh, what is the name of that one? I forget. Rezé Tomat. Mm, it's greenish, I might be wrong. greenish and yellow. And it's red. But basically, they're like, you could call them a traveling tomato because these little hunks Ooh. can be pulled off on some of them so like this one can be pulled off and like this one but i had one that's sort of like this one where it doesn't look like you can really pull them all off so i'm going to cut this one in half mm. this is phil's too and i'm curious to see how this tastes yeah me too man. let's see i'm gonna cut it right here i think oh wow um yeah kind of that's interesting kind of fell apart a little bit that's what the inside of it looks like. That's fun. Yeah, it's kind of wild. All right, so I'll give you this corner and then I'll take this corner. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, it tastes ooh, like a lime. Ooh. Yeah. And then there's. And then it gets milder. And then it gets vegetable-y. A little bit. Earthy, I guess they would yeah. say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's, um... I don't like the consistency of the, the inside. It's kind of mushy. Yeah. The meat of it's kind of mealy. I like that it's tart. It's really. It's, it's a fun one to grow, but I don't know. It's really tart at the beginning. I like it. Yeah. It's it's, it's interesting. I kind of like it actually. Yeah. You want to do another a little doodad? Yeah, I like to have one of them. I really just like the inside though. I'm not a fan of like the. 
I think the earthiness was the skin. Oh, the skin? Hmm. Yeah, because like, I don't like the consistency of this, but like, I like the flavor of it, yeah. so. Oh, we got so many more to take. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting, it's a fun tomato to grow. When they were start starting to come on, and I've picked probably like 12, 12 of these yeah. guys off of there, and it's got several more. So it's a good, uh, a, a good, a good prolific tomato plant. Yeah. <clears throat> and I did not get the earthiness without the skin. Mm. Okay, so it's still got a good tomato flavor, which is skinless. Skinless, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to pick um this one. All right, this one's fun. These are fuzzy blue. No, this is fuzzy wuzzy. So it's another one of the plants that's really furry. This one's really, really furry. Um, but also the tomato has like, I don't know if you'll be able to see that it's kind of furry. You can feel it and you can see it. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up on the fuzziness though. But this is called Fuzzy Wuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy. Okay. And it's very prolific. I'm not sure if this is a dwarf or not because I forgot to stake my plant and it's just kind of like falling all over the place. <laughs> kind of looks like it might be because it's not very tall, but it was one of the last ones I planted, so. And there is the inside of Fuzzy Wuzzy. All right, which one do you want, dear? I like this one. Okay. Let me smell it. Mm. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. I wonder if it feels fuzzy on the tongue. Not really. Mm. It's a nice size. They're all they're all very uniform too. Nice salad, saladette type. Maybe even a large cherry. I think it does feel weird on the tongue. It does feel a little fuzzy. To do it. You know Not fuzzy, it's just like, is it the same one? Mm hmm Yeah, you can feel it when you pick it up. I don't know if you can tell. It's got like some like yellow spots. No, yeah, this one kind of feels the same, so maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. It's, what do I it's know? It's just a classic tomato flavor. Well, this one's way more waxy and, mm -hmm. and Yeah, it's definitely smooth. got like a little fuzz on it. But yeah. You can't really, I don't think you can really feel it that much. No. It's good though. It's good, yeah. It's a just it's an easy pop into your mouth and a salad. Just slice in half and put them in salads. It's a good tomato, and it's very prolific. It's one that if you if you like it, it you know, it's all over the plant. There's a ton of them on it. Mm, that's a good one then. All right, next year, which one? Oh, let's try those little things. These are fun. This is another rabbit hole <clears> that you <throat> could fall down into. These or the um, what do they call them? The Martian. Martian, um, oh, I forget the name, but there's like, there's Martian shingle, Martian bee, uh, several other varieties. I think I've got four or five of them now, but this is Martian fee. Hmm. And of course I'm going to put the name up here. So I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not, but it's really pretty. It's like a cherry type and then it's got some anthocyanin, I don't know if you can see the anthocyanin shoulders. So it's like purpley. It's a very pretty, like very pretty pink color and then it's got like the purpley shoulder now one thing i want to say about this is that there's some of them that have no purple at all oh. and that's because the sun wasn't hitting them so oh. i had a few varieties in my garden where i thought that i had the wrong variety of tomato because they were supposed to have like the darker shoulders or whatnot well, now that my plants the foliage and stuff is kind of dying a little bit and the sun is hitting the tomatoes a little bit more. Now I'm seeing a lot more of the anthocyanin on the shoulders of tomatoes. And I'll tell you about the next tomato <laughs> was one that I was just like, oh, that's not the right variety, but it is. But this is Martian fee and it's got the shoulder. Okay, here. So okay. I wonder if- um, Let me let me cut it. You think this one tastes different than one without the dark shoulder? I don't know, let's find out. Cause I'm cutting this let's one. Let's check. So there's the inside. So it's more red. It's not as pretty as the outside. <laughs> like a light pale red. All right, so this is the one without, and this is the one with, so. Okay. Well, I, need, I need to get the top of that one. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna try the one with first. Okay. Not terrible, but interesting. Mm -hmm. The one without. It's sweeter. The one without? Mm hmm. I am thinking I'm not a fan of anthocyanin. They're dark. And they're supposed to be very, very healthy for you. That's an interesting one, man. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's fun. A real fun shaped one. Really pretty. So, <clears throat> this isn't that uh, endocidin. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Because you, uh, you like a lot of the darker tomatoes. Yeah, I do. But you don't like the ones with the dark shoulders. Uh -uh. I don't think so. Well, it doesn't, well, let's seem, try. doesn't seem to be. Let's go ahead and try the last one. <clears throat> the last so that was, dark shouldered tomato? Yes. So this one here, I posted a picture on Instagram. Oh, These man. are from the same plant. So I'll show you. This one's got a dark spot just because it, it's starting to go bad. But this is one that the sun did not hit. And there's no anthocyanin shoulders. And then this is one where the sun was hitting it. So I posted a picture and everybody was saying that that's not Alice's dream. I forgot to tell you. This is Alice's dream. And everyone was saying it's not Alice's dream. It just was because my plant was so healthy, the foliage wasn't letting the actual tomatoes get any sun. So the sun, when it hits the tomato, it will get the anthocyanin. So if you got them like in a greenhouse, you won't get that dark shouldered look. It's like a sunburn. Kind <laughs> of. But like this one has no anthocyanin on it and it was right beside this one. Just this one was getting hit by the sun a little bit. So, Interesting. Alice's dream. And I grew this one because my neighbor's name is Alice and I was just like, oh, I wanna grow that. <laughs> Let's see if I like this one because so far the ones that have been, cause this is kind of looks slightly similar to um, Chupa Chups. That looks like a brain. It's very pretty. Look at that. Yeah, very pretty. See if I can get. I don't want the light is too bright. Okay. Okay. Mm, let's do this with the anthocyanin shoulders. Antho sunburn shoulders. All right. All right. Let's give it a shot. I don't have much anthocyanin. In. Mm. This one's much better than Chupa Chups. Mm. Mm. I like this one. Mm-hmm. Got a deep, like a deep, very juicy. Know. I don't know how to explain that. Quite flavor. juicy. I need to take a class on tomato taste test. This one actually has like a little bit of like a smokiness to it. It's not dark though. Well, I don't know. You know what I mean when I say dark. Did I say dark? No, I said deep. Yeah. No, this is like, um, Mm. It's good. I like it. I don't even know how to explain it, but I like it. It's, I like it. I like the name, and it's pretty. And did it's you want to cut the one with the only one with the anthocyanin that I've actually? Did you want to try the other one to see if it tastes different? Nah. Okay. We won't do that. No, I want to get down this area. Get down this. I'm hungry. I want real food. <clears throat> All right, you want to pick the next one? Sure. This. Ah, this is called wine jug. So this one is a fun shaped one, very cool. And um, it got its name from its shape. So it's like a wine jug, I guess. <laughs> oh, nice, very nice. dark in color. And then it's got like these, I don't know if you can see like the spots. It's almost like mint, mint color. Can you see it's like mint colored spots? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So looks let's see nice. what the inside looks like. Wrap. Ooh, oh, very yeah. deep. Color burgundy. Deep, deep red. I wonder if it tastes like it's got wine. A wine kind of flavor. You got some seeds on you. <laughs> seeds. Mm, there's seeds everywhere. Okay. There you want that piece? Yeah. All right. Did we smell the last one? I don't remember. Oh, this is a different smell. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, that's weird. <laughs> oh. I use that. That's interesting. It does have like a wine kind of flavor, doesn't it? Did it get its name from because of the flavor? It's an interesting, uh... That's interesting. I don't much care for the, um, texture. It's kind of mushy. Mm. You think it's kind of mushy? The meat, the meat of it's kind of mushy. I'm not a fan of that one. It's not like bad. No, it's not bad. Like some of them are just nasty. I don't like. I think it would be that's okay. Just like a, yeah, I won't. I don't want to touch chupa chups ever again. But this one I could put on a sandwich, yeah. like, but with something else, like um, Claude Brown's Yellow Giant or pineapple cake, and have it layered with that on a sandwich. Maybe you put a little salt on that. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, yeah, could do that too. All right, we've got three more guys. Three more. And then I'm gonna get some real food today. Ooh. Let's get her done. Which one, babe? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Have we done any tomato facts this episode? I don't know. Do you have something? Uh, well, 93% uh, of US gardeners grow tomatoes. Mm -hmm. But. Do you know who the largest producer of tomatoes is? China. That is correct, <laughs> actually. Yes, nice. And I know my tomato facts. 50, 56,423,811 tons, 35% of global production. Wow. And I wonder if they get shipped to the United States in their green yucky box. I don't think they do get oh, okay. shipped to the United States. I could be wrong. Okay. Well, they don't get shipped to my house, I'll tell you that much. All right, no. so you want to try this one. You have almost that many. <laughs> oh, let's not exaggerate. All right, this is another Kazula variety. This is Kazula 133. So it's, again, it's, I mean, the Kazulas, like I said, are just so stinking pretty. I don't know if you can see how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. I hope I have pictures that I can put up because I don't think, I can't tell if the camera's catching the coloring, but it's a saladette or you could say large cherry if you want. Mm -hmm. And we'll put it this way too. Pretty, pretty much the same on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, which one you want? You want that one? Yeah, this is pretty good. Okay. Oh, it's very tomato smelling. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. A little sweeter. Yeah. My golly, yeah. That packs a punch. It's crunchy. It's sweet. This, it's real crunchy, I think. Yeah, the skin's crunchy. But it's not like gross. Mm -mm. No, it's good. Yeah, it's real good. That's good. Uh, oh, the goo is very um. Beep. <laughs> I can't get it in my mouth. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's good. That's good. That's good. Kazula. Mm-hmm. Kazula 133. You're good. Yummy. Oh, that's a Kazula? That's Kazula type. Kazula 133. 133. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that one better than 174. Yeah, this is better than 174. I don't remember what 174 tasted like, but I remember I wasn't. You weren't a big fan of it. I wasn't. All right, I was super excited to get seeds for these. The picture of these was magnificent. And the actual tomato is magnificent too. So this reminds me of one I grew last year called Sartre Louise. Um, but it wasn't shaped like this. So this is like a heart-shaped, um, almost paste-type um, tomato. But this is called Blues on a Platter. And if you look at the top here, again, it's got this bluish color on the top. Very, very pretty. Mm. And the first couple I got, again, didn't have any blue on them. <laughs> I was just like, dang it, I didn't get the right tomato. And then I saw this one later on that was been, being hit by the sun. So... Mm, it's got the coloring. 
Just one side, like she had her little <coughs> shoulder out of her yep. shirt. Yeah, mm -hmm. get down here on the shoulders. So let's yeah. do the one that's got the blue. This looks like an eggplant. How an egg? What's an eggplant? Very purple. They can be white. I have. I'm growing a white one. That was that yellow one that's out there right now because I let them go to oh. seed or get um, ripe enough that I can save seeds. So this is what the inside of blues on a platter looks like. That's fine. I can't remember where I got these seeds from. Oh, that looks real. Was meaty it tomato? Like Tomato Fifu, maybe? Mm. I don't know. Yeah, it's very meaty. It's very firm. And this is another one that has been sitting here for the seven days and hasn't oh, gotten wow. yucky. Wow. Okay. So it's a good storing tomato, perhaps. Yeah, this is just like pretty much all meat. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. That's nice. It's mild. There's like no acidity to it. <clears throat> I like it. It's nothing special, but it's good. Not yucky. I'm still... Disturbed by the chupa chups, I think. <laughs> what would you say, dear? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's I'm not, not like, a fan, like really. You don't like the whites? It's no. just real. It's just I don't know. It's just nothing special. Yeah, it's not bad though. I, it's not bad. It's just like. Eh. And I, I, I mean, and it keeps producing these really big ones. Like this is all like I think I got eight off of the plant and they're all pretty much this size. So it produces really big, nice meaty. They That would be a good one to grow to make white spaghetti sauce. Like I mm. wanted to do that this year. And I was supposed to bag everything, which I still might be able to make a couple of bags of just like white tomatoes or just green tomatoes. We'll have to see. All right, we're down to the last one, guys. Yay! All right, yeah. this one is <clears throat> another Kazula. This is Kazula 125. Oh. So here's a couple of them. And uh, I don't know if you can tell the gorgeous color of this one, too. Again, it's super duper pretty. Yeah, yeah. Let's cut the bigger one. All right. And there's the inside. Looks real nice. Okay. Kazula 125. Oh, it's very pungent in smell. It's got a nice scent. Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh. Ooh. Very firm. Mm -hmm. Got some acidity. But a good tomato flavor. Yeah. Nothing really interesting. Mm, like a tanginess. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of tanginess to it. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, it's good. That'd be a good tomato sandwich BLT. I mm. like that one. With some mayonnaise. I'm hungry. I like that one. All right. I think. I could not tell you my favorite, but I could tell you that the last haul was better than these. Which I don't even know who those okay. are. Okay. But I do like this. I'm going to go with this one. You were going to go one with the very last one yep. you tasted? Yep. My favorite, if we're just going by flavor. Oh. Gosh, that's hard. I can't even remember what we tasted, really. So. Um, Probably... Uh, Fuzzy Blue Balls. No, not Fuzzy oh. Blue Balls. Uh, Kazula 133. I think this was probably my, my most favorite. Is that the second one? Yeah, this was Fuzzy Wuzzy, and then this was one. Okay, I was going to actually say the same thing. I was going to say it was between this one and that one. Yeah. So I like those two Kazulas. Yeah, Kazulas are winners, I think. I don't think we've yeah. tasted a Kazula we didn't like yet. Phil's 2 is super fun. So I like it. I'm... I probably that grow it again. One? Yeah, that's the one that's kind of weird. Oh, that's a, yeah. That's a good and one. And then 
Claude Brown's Yellow Giant just because it's gigantic. It's cool too. So um, this one, there, this one's hard to choose. Uh, so 133 is definitely the best in flavor. But anything else you want to add, dear? I think that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I hope you all enjoy your day. Bye.